Welcome to My School SASC Implementation Overview. Today we will share a short history and plans for moving forward in SunWest School Division. As many of you are aware, school divisions in Saskatchewan are moving to a single student information system, My School SASC, by the fall of 2019. This student information system is owned by a company named Fujitsu Follett and is based on the Aspen Student Information System. My School SASC will replace PowerSchool and PowerTeacher Gradebook currently in use in our SunWest schools. This change is intended to provide consistency for teachers, students, and their families, as there will only be one student information system to learn how to use, and information about students will be shared quickly and virtually should students move from one school to another within the province. But as we know, even if a change is needed and agreed upon, there are still many things to consider when introducing a change. This diagram shows the progression from the way an organization currently does things to an awareness and an understanding phase. These initial phases are followed by a trial phase where learners experiment and learn about a new system and then finally adoption. After using the new program for some time, it eventually replaces the system currently in use and becomes the new way to do things. At all times during this adoption cycle, it is important to communicate, educate, train and support and reinforce learning and use. SunWest has a plan in place to address all parts of the adoption curve, and if you are, are a member of the My School SAS group in the Resource Bank, you are already part of the process, as you are aware of communications and have worked to view and educate yourself about the new system. In addition to thinking about how to manage and plan for a change, we must realize that any time we are faced with change, one may experience different reactions and emotions that start and progress at different stages and at different times. For instance, when faced with a change, we may feel extremely anxious and wonder how are we ever going to cope with the change or fit it in. Or we experience feelings of denial hoping that if we just ignore it, it will all go away. Strong emotions may be associated with change. This is completely normal and in fact expected. Fear is sometimes one of those emotions as the users will often wonder, how will this change affect me and the things that I routinely do? Finally, acceptance may occur where the learner comes to terms with the change and in fact starts to realize that now they know what needs to be done and how it can be done. This realization leads to a surge of energy where the learner is motivated and is able to do what is needed to be done. Lastly, a feeling of growth where the learner reflects and realizes that what they have learned is working and has helped them to actually achieve or in fact get better at what they do. The important thing to remember is that this is normal and that the amount of time a learner may spend in each stage may vary depending on prior experiences, acceptance of risk and personality type. The trick is to remain moving through the stages and not to become stuck in any one stage. Being aware of the stages and self-reflecting on your location with the within the stages is an important part of this process. It's also important to realize that it is perfectly normal to have a variety of emotions towards a change at any given time. And the most important focus is to ensure that you are progressing or on a path that is leading to one's learning and allow you to work in a new situation or in a new way of being. One thing to avoid is to avoid being stuck and following a path of either being disillusioned or hostile where you commit to the old ways and attempt to undermine the new. Last fall, when the announcement was made about adopting My School SASC by the fall of 2019, school divisions were asked to create a division leadership team to help plan, lead and steer the implementation for their division. SunWest Division Team is comprised of Sherry Martin, Vanessa Lewis, Sandra Potratz, Linda Claussen, and James Lowe. This team participated in five weeks of training where each week they learned about the requirements of the implementation and worked to develop a plan for each aspect presented to them. 
Part of the SunWest plan involved creating an advisory team consisting of stakeholders from the various staff that will be using My School Sask. A call went out and as always, SunWest teachers, administrators and secretaries responded favorably and expressed interest and willingness to help lead this initiative. Volunteers who weren't selected to be on the division advisory team also had the opportunity to get involved in being part of their school team by volunteering to be a school lead. The advisory team participated in an overview of the new system in November and a train the trainer week in March. School teams consist of administrators, secretaries and one teacher lead per school. These school teams will receive their initial training on June 5th and 6th. 2019. They will receive training binders and resources and access to a training environment or sandbox where they can experiment and practice using a scrambled version of My School Sask. School leads will demonstrate the new information system to their staffs in June and in August, and staff members may choose to work within the training environment and read the manuals during the summer in preparation for the fall. Additional supports and training will also be provided in the fall and resources will be posted in the SunWest Resource Bank for easy access. As we mentioned, much of the planning for implementation and setup of the division teams occurred in fall, with the division plan being submitted in January. As well, work is ongoing to ensure there is an accurate and successful transfer of data from the existing student information systems such as PowerSchool and Maplewood to the new MySchool SASC platform. Currently, divisions level staff are involved in data validation tests and data configuration and training. There are three different data validation sessions, one in May, one in June, and the last in July. Meetings are also held weekly to update and ensure the program is on track and to communicate the tasks that divisions must complete in order for the system to be ready to work in the fall. At this time, divisions also learn about what the ministry and the Aspen company who manage the system have been doing and how their work is on task. In addition, there are three provincial groups steering the implementation, which meet once a month. The Technical Operations Group, or the TOG Group, of which James and Sandra belong. The Business Operation Group, or BOG, which has Linda Clausen as a member and the SL Tree or Strategic Leadership Team, which has Sherry and Vanessa as members. Training takes place for our trainers in March to May all across the province, and end users will be training May to August to be ready for fall implementation. All the teams are working towards a go-live date of August 12th so that schools and school division will be ready for implementation when school starts in September 2019. Because we know that everyone learns differently, we have planned our implementation in SunWest to have face-to-face -face opportunities, online support videos, and step-by-step -step instructional booklets. If you haven't already joined the My School Sask page on the Resource Bank, we invite you to sign up today, as this is where our resources will be housed. Once you start using My School Sask, step-by-step -step resource booklets and help guides are also located within the platform and are only a click away. When you log into My School Sask, your login will vary slightly depending on your role. If you have two roles, such as a teaching school-based administrator, or you are a student support teacher and classroom teacher, you will no longer have to log in separately to view the admin view, as it is now a drop-down menu with a single login. A training environment will be available for teachers to explore. As well, our division hopes to make a series of videos to complement those available from the province. We have created a 43rd SunWest School, a fairy tale school, to assist us in this process and to demonstrate different functionalities of the program. Every program uses different sets of language, and in education, that is no surprise, as we are often enamored with jargon. In My School Sask, you will notice several terms that you may not be familiar with or that are being used in a different way. For instance, you may hear the word standard being used, and in reality, that also means the word outcome. Or you may hear the term primary school being used. In our reality, primary usually means elementary schools, but in the My School Sask language, primary school is referring to the base school that the student is based out of. 
secondary, which we usually associate with high school, is another term that is used differently in the My School SASC system. Secondary refer refers to the non-base school. Lastly, the word transcript is used frequently. In education, transcript usually refers to the grade 12 transcript of marks that can be requested from the Ministry of Education. In the My School SASC program, transcript refers to anything that is printed out that is a report and provides information about a student. In addition to having the opportunity for school divisions to use a common student information system, participants from 22 school divisions came together to look at adopting a common provincial rubric. During the meeting on April 4th and 5th, the group collaborated to look at gradebook and reporting practices. The group discussed and agreed upon the following that there would be four levels of academic achievement in grades one to nine, with levels three and four being considered at grade level. Alpha and numeric options for the agreed upon scale were also provided. Reporting practices in grades 10 to 12 were discussed. At this time, those grades will continue to report in percentile. This discussion was not intended to change current practice towards outcome-based reporting, but in fact to provide a common language and use of the outcomes that are being used across the province. In addition to a common rubric, a common scale for additional grade scale terms was also adopted. Schools across the province will use terms and abbreviations that are consistent with one another, and an agreed upon descriptor and definition for these terms was also generated. In addition to discussing a common rubric, the group discussed and agreed upon a set of common factors to report that affected non-academic achievement. These were based on the broad goals of learning found in the front of every Saskatchewan curriculum. School divisions, if desired, have the ability to describe the factors that can contribute towards these areas. For instance, if a division values and uses the 21st century skills and competencies like we do at SunWest, we may decide how these areas will inform the four areas being assessed. Similar to PowerSchool and PowerTeacher Gradebook, My School Sask also has a family portal. Training on how to set up the portal and instructions for parents as well as a video on how to use the portal will be created to assist schools in training students and their families in the fall. It is said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Together as a division and a province, we look forward to beginning the process of transitioning from one student information system to another. We know the journey and change may be scary for some and exciting for others, but either way, we look forward to working and learning together on this journey. Thank you.